and Sister Anthony Bailey, Assistant General, and Sister Ignatia Suman, the main runner of uh, the Sanko information, who has planned so well, and all my dear loving sisters. It was a pleasant journey that we have had for two days. I know you are all hungry. You will become angry in case I give a long talk. So I am going to be very, very brief and concise. So I would like to, first and foremost, on behalf of all of you, would like to congratulate and appreciate the State Nisha Suman for her hard labor and the struggles that she has taken to arrange. The rest of the vote of thanks will be carried out by a person who is proposing vote of thanks. And through the instrumentality of Sister Gnana Shobha, Sister Ignatius Suman could get to Father Joe Matthias, a renowned speaker, well-known speaker. Whenever we have heard about him, they said he is a very good uh, speaker and uh, you are lucky to have him, true father. We were too lucky to have you within a short uh, span of our extension of invitation. So sisters, we have heard sufficiently. We, have, we are given more than sufficiently. It up, it's up to each one of us what you want to be here from this time onwards. As Father truly said, all the young ages of our life are gone. We are left only with few more years or no more years, God alone knows. What best person you want to be is in your hands. Not in the hands of any of us, in your own hands, not even including your parents. It depends upon you. God provides opportunities in and through your congregation, through your community, through your life experiences and spiritual exercises. So it's up to each one of us to utilize it, manure it and let our life, life grow gracefully. Otherwise, as long as we are healthy, we are happy. As long as once we become sick, we are sad. That is not part of this world, sadly. As a great philosopher says, live each day so inspiringly, at the end of your life, you will rejoice and the rest of the world will grieve over your death. This is what is my final message to all of you for this as I, we had been re repeating regular contemplation hours would definitely will make you what you expect, what God expects of you. So with this message that we promise that we are going to regularize our spiritual life through contemplations and uh, worthy uh, celebrities of the Holy Eucharistic celebration and all the sacraments and uh, emulating any of the saints that you love most, including our own founders, God may bless and lead us. Let us grow with a renewed vigor. Thank you. God bless us all.